also tonight, a nine year old boy whipped at school. Two women are now on trial. One of those his teacher. The CBS 2 investigators first broke this story. Chris Ty was in court today as the fifth grader relived his horrific day. Chris. That's right, Erica and Brad, this nine year old telling a judge he doesn't remember how many times he was hit that day at school, but he vividly remembers wailing as those lashes kept coming. She told me to pull down my pants, but I didn't, so she got mad. And she started whacking me with the two belts. Last year, Jamari Champ told CBS 2's Dave Savini what happened here at Tilton Elementary School on the west side. Today, that boy wept as he told it to a judge that in September of 2018, he was dragged into an empty school bathroom, grabbed on one wrist by his teacher, Kristen Hayes, and on the other by the teacher's friend, Juanita Tyler, who happens to be the boy's estranged great aunt. Once in the bathroom, he says Tyler whipped him using two belts Miss Hayes kept in her classroom for keeping kids in line. She was holding like the tip of where a bell buckle was, and that's when she started whacking me. On what part of your body? My legs and my back. He says he cried loudly in that bathroom and that the whipping later continued in a hallway outside her classroom. Allegations Tyler vehemently denies. He says you whipped him I until... The trial, now in its second day, could land the two in jail for almost a full year on battery charges. In court today, as Jamari and his sister wept, recalling that day almost 18 months ago, the two friends on trial sat next to each other emotionless. And while they're the ones on trial, this family says the jury is already back on the institution charged with keeping kids safe. I point the finger at CPS because school is a safe haven for kids. And kids are supposed to be protected no matter what. Ms. Hayes, do you have any comment no, from that today? Do you have any, any reaction to the boy's testimony where he cried on the witness stand talking about that day in your class? Any comment on that? That teacher is on leave pending an investigation and the outcome of this case, as we indicated, she and her friend could face up to just under a year if convicted of these battery charges. The nine-year-old's parents say that he is still suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder related from this incident. Live at the Cook County Criminal Courts building tonight, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Chris Ty, thank you.